so hey what is up guys come back to another video and in this video uh, i am going to show you how you can make your games yes uh, i am releasing uh, another series which is uh, how to make games in unity engine yes you can make your games in unity game engine uh, very easily by watching my video so please stay tuned and today video's topic is uh, understanding the user interface of the unity engine and also creating some objects learning about objects what is object how to create full and all the thing so uh, let's get into our screen so first we are going to create a new and select your unity version and uh, when you selected this name your unity project uh, test game and choose your template i want to create a 3d game so i select this 3d uh, uh, make uh, choose your location and i browse my location uh, uh, here is my unity project and inside of this i am going to make uh, this uh, select folder and then create this so uh, it takes some time to create the folder uh, i i will be meet you after it creates the uh, creates the uh, project so bye bye now you can see our scene is loaded and our project is ready so first i show you the ui of this unity so first here is our main windows we have a game window where uh, we can see uh, the preview of our game and here is uh, our scene where we can edit this so and here here our tools so we can select this tools by clicking q w w e r t y u not u q uh, q w e r t y and uh, yeah, we can select it with the u so first i go to i select this tool and here is our uh, light so it's our directional light so it has the light so without um, okay my laptop battery is running low so i um i am turning my power on of the battery so let's start so now i turn on the charger so now we have a light without this light our game has dark dark everywhere and here is our main camera so when we move this camera our game uh, look perspective is also change and here is our project in the project there is a folder and it has a sample scene like uh, when we are making a game we have so much scene uh, because it has so much levels and all that thing so we can make uh, scenes and now we can and here is our console so we can here uh, we can test our code where is the problem where is the thing and here is our package so i am not uh, 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 doing something in this package i am go to assist and now in the assist and here is high uh, high 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 so in this uh, here is our scene so in the scene we can add game objects and do all the thing and here is our 
inspector mm, in the inspector we can change the attributes of our game object like main camera i want its y position to zero so i can uh, move it to the zero i want it in the one so i can do that also so what i am gonna do is uh, let's set all to zero and uh, it's also on the same position now i am going i am what i gonna do create a new 3d object cube so i created a cube now you can see we have a cube so first i gonna do is make this uh, in the in this uh, and put the camera something uh, upper from this cube and now uh, we can see no we cannot see this cube in our game uh, now we can see our cube in our game now what i gonna do is make this cube larger so it can be our ground so to do that i select the uh, r tool uh, so we can resize it with like this now i make it something larger no we <laughs> created so much larger uh, so i made this larger and now you can see in our game and i also put our camera something upper and uh, also make this so much larger okay Mm, so much larger now in our game you can see it by clicking here we can play our game but uh, first uh, before uh, making our game and running our game i go to create and first i gonna make a new folder so i click on the folder and name it material so in this we are gonna store our all material like grass and all the thing colors and now i am gonna create a new for uh, new material here and name it ground material and uh, make this blue uh, no i wanna go with green because it look like a uh, ground now i select this and close this and now i am gonna apply it into the ground by simply just dragging and dropping it into the ground now uh, you can see our ground looks better and now mm, we rename this cube as ground ground and also i am gonna do is make a new cube which is our player so i am gonna name it player uh sorry player player and and uh, uh, i am gonna make it uh, by two blocks so i am gonna uh, make this y position two and uh, move it in the front of camera uh, uh, because it is our player uh i am setting it to zero oh sorry <laughs> our ground position is also zero and i am setting it to 0 0.6 no 7 no 8 no 9 uh no we are going to make it one no <laughs> oh sorry i make this for 1.4 no 1.5 now it look good so when we run it uh, we can run our game by clicking on this button and now our game is running now you can see our camera is, is uh, not really good uh, good in good position so i am gonna make it like this like this is a third person third person game now it looks good uh now we can see uh, that our game looks pretty much nice and i'm also doing something more like now it's good 
and i am also gonna make our player also looks good with the new material i am gonna create a new material and name it player material uh, you are probably thinking what this is a player this is not a player in the games we have so much cool players so i will show you in the later videos how we can assign a character make 3d models or download 3d models so i am gonna assign this character as a blue color and something transparent uh, now it looks good uh, rgb something like this and now i'm gonna drag it into this player now uh, we can see it looks pretty much nice in our um, game you can see so i we can also set a setting here maximize on play so whenever we start the game it will maximize on our screen so it's a good setting now i am gonna go to the screen and now uh, we are going to talk about some components so when we click on this so uh, when i got it here and play the game so uh, it will stuck at the top um, or in the sky but we want it physics so we want physics on it so to add physics i am going to go to add component and go to the physics and in the physics you want the rigid body it is the most common uh, physics because it uh, is really good because we want that our character jump and do all that thing uh, so we want this rigid body now you can see it will drop into the ground uh, from the sky uh, like when i move this hair like this and run this so it will drop into the ground so one two three now you can see so what i gonna uh, i gonna do the second thing is box collider so what's box collider do so with the use of box collider uh, uh with the use of box collider uh when this cube uh when this cube uh touch the second cube so uh, it uh, behavior is not like good like i can uh, i show you uh, i can also uh replicate it by control d and name it enemy enemy and uh, go to here and here is the box collider i remove this and make this enemy second here and now when we run it uh, you see what happens you can see it uh, uh, drop down into the ground uh, because it doesn't have this box collider so we also want this box collider uh, physics to be applied because it will um, do not touch the ground it will get uh, uh, drop into the ground so i am gonna tick it and now run it now you can see uh um, now you can see it touch it okay we can also do one thing i move it like here and now run it and now you can see uh, uh it will uh, get uh, so now for now i am gonna disable it because we don't want this enemy here so um, let's um, talk about camera so 
uh, when we look with the camera it looks like this okay but we can also make this solid color depth only like uh, when we see here is the sky but we can also um, customize the sky um, like uh, i can make this sky little bit darker sorry uh, red now uh, oh, what uh, we can also adjust this but when we click on solid color so <laughs> you can see the sky it is all of red and red red and red so uh, our sky look weird so i also go on the sky box so it will look sky <laughs> uh, i also select it to the blue so it will look better now what i gonna do is the uh, no i am not going to do anything because uh, this video ends here and in second video we are going to talk about uh, we are going to talk about scripting uh, with visual studio so it also have some scripts so i create the script folder now and do that thing in the second video scripts and save it and in the second video we are also going to talk about no we talk about script in the third video and uh, in the second video we are going to talk about assets how to import asset how to import characters and all that thing so that's for today guys i hope you enjoy video and learn something new bye bye